Midair defib. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. X, How are you doing? Uh, this is Grungy Sponge here, and I'm bringing you a Battlefield Bad Company 2 commentary discussing uh, something that I've heard a lot about in the uh, YouTube gaming community, which is a uh, discussion of pacing in video games, and normally what uh, people mean by that is basically how many kills you get in a minute or how many gunfights you get into, and uh, by that definition of pacing, uh, Battlefield 2 is a pretty slow-paced game, you know, you're not always getting shot or shooting somebody, but uh, how I define pacing is when you are doing something to help your team, and in Battlefield Bad Company 2, that's, uh, that's pretty much all the time, you know, you're, uh, you can always be repairing a vehicle or spotting somebody, or, you know, just staying alive so that your spawn, your squad can spawn on you. And, uh, you know, I, I really like that about the Battlefield franchise in general, is that it really gives you a way, you know, to, to interact with your friends and uh, be part of a team more than just, you know, kind of out for yourself like you are in Call of Duty. Um, but anyways, you'll see me playing my kit here, you know, using the rockets to suppress enemy vehicles, and I think I destroy one up here, you know, spotting and... You know, you'll see my friend playing his kit by, you know, picking me up and, you know, we start flanking. I use my suppressor to my advantage as a less muzzle flare, so it's harder to spot you when you're flanking. Uh, but anyways, you know, it's that kind of thing, that that level of immersion that really gets me into Battlefield. And I, I hope that, uh, that people can get over the idea that, uh, you know, a fast-paced game is one where, uh, where you're, you're, you're always shooting something. I mean, it is a first-person shooter, so, uh... You know, I definitely do want to shoot stuff and blow shit up, but, um, you know, it's, uh, what I've heard from, you know, the, the Battlefield 3 Alpha is that they're moving into a, a little more of an intense firefight kind of, uh, kind of setup where the, the gunfights are a little more intense and more numerous, but, um, you know, I, I, I see where they're coming from on that, because, you know, it's first person shooter, you definitely want to be shooting stuff all the time, but, uh, in another sense, I, I hope that they don't lose that kind of uh, teamwork aspect that Battlefield has uh, always stressed over kill count, you know, teamwork and tactics. Um, so I, you know, I hope that they uh, that they can maintain that even with uh, you know a a faster paced game, I guess. Um, let's see, what else to talk about? Oh, uh, you, you'll see here that you know we clutch this objective with one ticket left, and those are the kind of experiences that. Uh, that I find very rewarding when I'm playing a Battlefield game. And uh, whereas Call of Duty is kind of a more more level experience throughout, you don't really, you know, get those kind of ups and downs, those highs and lows. It's kind of more of just a, a level kind of, you can almost play it automatically at a certain point. You know, you're just, uh, you, you kind of go through the same old routine game after game after game. But uh, Battlefield, I feel like it's a little more of a, uh, you know, there's, there's a little more depth to it, I suppose. And, you know, there's... Uh, there's certain situations where it's better really not to engage in a firefight, whereas in Call of Duty it's all rush, 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 uh, you know, whoever can get the most kills usually wins. But, um, you know, Battlefield, you, there are often times where it's better, you know, not to, not to take the shot, and, uh, I find that, you know, making those decisions is, uh, you know, having to make those decisions, rather, is, uh, one of the things that keeps me engaged and interested in Battlefield, so, uh, I hope they keep that throughout their next games, and, uh, I hope that people discover that and, uh, you know, uh, you know, realize that that can be a fun thing as well. Uh, yeah, you'll see here that, you know, I don't take out those two guys, even though, you know, it's fairly, you know, I probably could with this SMG, but, um, anyways, uh, what was I talking about here? Oh, yes, uh, Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3. Uh, I don't really want to go out on a limb and say I think Battlefield 3 is going to be a better game because uh you know i i don't know that for sure but what i what i do want to say is that call of duty has more or less kept the same uh the same basic uh formula for their games uh year after year and i think battlefield will pull in a lot of people because uh because of that teamwork aspect and the fact that you can really interact with your friends in game like you know in call of duty you can't really do much you know to actually, you know, there's not a whole lot of, you know, in-game options that allow for teamwork. Like, in this game, you can revive, you can repair your squad's vehicles, you can do, you know, you can give them ammo and health. There's a bunch of things you can do to more directly, you know, help your team and, uh, and you know, play a, play a specific role in your team. So, uh, I find that a lot of fun, but I guess some people are uh, a little more intent on kill count rather than you know, than teamwork and tactics, uh, which is what Battlefield stresses, so uh, I hope I'm not really repeating myself all that much. 
Uh, anyways, this is my second commentary on YouTube, so I suppose I should uh, give you guys a little information about myself. I'm obviously a, a big Battlefield fan, so I'm psyched for Battlefield 3, and uh, uh, I'm going to generate a ton of content on that when it comes out. Uh, I'm going to link you to my friend's channel, which I don't think he has a content on yet, but you know he helped me pull off this pretty amazing clutch, so got to give him credit where credit's due. Um, so anyways, click that link, sub him, like him, you know, love him if you like, uh, so if you, <laughs> if you like, not if you're white. Uh, and here's a bonus clip for you guys. Peace out. Alright, my name? Hey, high gravity grenade!